Hello all, my name is Chinmay Deshpande and today we are going to see a topic Introduction to the Numerical Integration Basically what is Numerical Integration? Numerical Integration is nothing but area under the curve We can define it as the definite integral integration x0 to xn f of x dx represents the area between the curve y equal to f of x. The ordinates from x equal to x0 to x equal to xn and x axis when the function y equal to f of x is the integral infinite term as shown in the figure. So now if you observe this figure, it consists, this is what is the area in between limit x0 to xn. So the process of evaluating the definite integral from a set of tabulated values of the integrand f of x which is not known explicitly is called as numerical integration. In a simple way you can say that numerical integration is nothing but area under the curve. Now most, problem, most probably in a engineering and sciences several times the integration integration x0 to xn f of x dx is required. But y equal to f of x is unknown and only we know the points that is x1, y1, x2, y2 up to xi, y9 where i stands for 0 to n. So in such cases the numerical integration enables to compute the definite integral i equal to integration x0 to xn f of x dx for a given data point. Numerical integration is also helpful to calculate approximate area under the curve y equal to f of x from x equal to x0 and x equal to xn and x axis. So in this section, we are going to derive the Newton's force quadratic formula. Newton's force quadrature formula. Now, let the integration of x0 to xn f of x dx equal to 0 is to be determined where y equal to f of x is the function which is known or unknown depending upon situation. But we have the points x1, y1, x2, y2 up to xn, xn, yn. These are the known values for a given function y equal to f of x. Now, here x is equally spaced. What is equally spaced? Distance between the values is same or we can say that. For example, let's take an example of equally spaced. Suppose we have the values of x 0, 5, 10, 15. Then distance between these is same. Means what? x2 minus x1 equal to h, that h value is a constant. So, for an equally spaced interval of x, we can write a Newton's forward interpolation formula. It is given by y equal to f of x equal to y0 plus p delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial del square y0 up to. This is what is your first equation. Where p equal to what? x minus x0 upon h where h is the spacing and x0 is the thing but the value that we have to find out. Now I can write this equation as x minus x0 equal to h into p. Differentiate this equation with respect to x. So what you will get? Now x0 is the constant value so therefore after differentiating it will be 0. So when we differentiate this equation I will get dx equal to h into dp. Let us assume this is your equation number 2. Now what we have to do, I, I want to find out integration of f of x dx. Here y is nothing but f of x means what? I need to take integration of this equation. So therefore here I have written integration in between limits x0 to xn f of x equal to integration x0 to xn whatever right side is there the same right side I have written here. But let us observe that from above equation dx equal to h into dp. So in place of dx I can write h into dp. So therefore there will be a change in the equation f of x equal to integration 0 to n h y0 plus p into delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial and remaining formula into dp. Okay. Now what to do? Now here h is outside. Now I will multiply these terms. So y0 plus p delta y0. p into bracket p minus 1 means what? p square minus p upon 2 factorial means 2. If I multiply the numerator of this, I will get p cube minus 3p square plus 2p upon 3 factorial is 6 into dp. Now what I am going to do? 
I am going to perform integration on right hand side. So integrate right hand side and substituting upper limit directly I am going to write, write this step h as it is. Now y0 integration dp. Integration dp means what? It is a constant. Okay. In, integration 1 dp. So constant integration is what? Yes. There is a, some value. So here when we substitute upper limit it becomes n into y0 plus p integration of p delta y0 dp so i can write delta y0 is the constant integration p dp what is the integration of p dp it is p square by 2 and when i substitute upper limit so i will get n square by 2 del y0 so likewise next term integration and upper limit that is value of n is substituted here now from this equation suppose if you observe here in each and every term there is a n value so if I take n value common from the above equation, what happens? This will be y0, this will be n by 2 delta y0, 2n square minus 3n upon 12 delta square y0, n cube minus 4n square plus 4n upon 24 delta cube of y0. So whatever the equation which is written here, this equation is called as Newton's Coates quadratic formula. It is the general quadrature formula from which we can derive various special formulas which can be required for a calculation of numerical integration. Now based on this formula, there are three methods commonly which can be used for numerical integration. First is trapezoidal rule, second is Simpson's one third rule, third one is Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. So in the next video, we are going to discuss trapezoidal rule, its theory, how to solve a problem and one problem. Thank you for watching this video.